When you first launch Autodesk Inventor, you should see the uh, Startup Welcome screen. Now you can turn that off or disable that by uh, checking this box here, off, but I recommend you leave it on because you may want to go back uh, and view some of these interactive tutorial videos or some of the essential skill videos that you should have already watched online. You'll also see some recent files if you've um, used Inventor before listed here in the recent files list. And you can click new, open, or projects um, from this window as well. So I'm going to dismiss that and show you how you would normally create a new file from scratch. Go up to the new button in the ribbon and it should pop up a window showing you the uh, available templates. Now we're going to use the English standard uh, IPT template. Create a new file. Then you'll notice the graphics window changes, the ribbon changes, and you'll notice the browser appears on the left side of your screen. So the first thing you always need to do when creating a new part is to start with a 2D sketch. Now you'll have to select a plane to sketch on. I recommend starting on the XY plane, which will draw the front view on and then extrude into the Z uh, axis. So the first part we're going to create is a simple puzzle cube part. Go to the origin. Now you can click the mouse or what I prefer you do is hit the tab key to go into the numeric text field and enter in the origin 00, zero. and then let's say we just want to create a simple cube three quarters of an inch on a side. You type in the numeric constraints directly into those text fields. And then when you hit enter, you will get a fully constrained sketch. And you can tell it's fully constrained because it's uh, dark purple. If your sketches are not fully constrained, they'll show up as a green color. Now once we have a sketch, you click the finish sketch button and the ribbon you'll be brought back to the home view and then we're going to use the extrude command. We want to extrude it also three quarters of an inch so I'll type 0.75 and you'll notice you can click which direction you want to extrude it forward in the Z uh, axis or backwards in the Z axis negative Z axis. We'll just select the forward. You can also select symmetrical or asymmetrical about the um, plane. We're just going to create uh, the, the first one coming towards us. Click OK. And now we have a simple cube. So that's essentially the process you'll go through um, repeatedly to create uh, more complex puzzle cube parts. Once we have this cube, I want to show you how to navigate uh, around your graphics window. You have a navigation bar over here on the right. And the view cube here shows you which orientation you're viewing the part from. The home button will always take you back to the home view, which we're looking at now. But the really cool thing is, rather than using the navigation bar, you can pretty much do all your navigation just from the mouse using the uh, keyboard mouse and mouse scroll wheel. If you scroll the mouse wheel up and down, it zooms. If you click the mouse wheel and move it around, it pans. So you see I can easily pan and zoom. Now you'll notice it will zoom in uh, centered on the cursor. So if I put the cursor over here and zoom in, my part goes off the screen. I want to make sure I hover over my part and zoom in so that the part stays centered. The next thing we can do is called orbiting. Just like the moon orbits the Earth and the Earth orbits the sun, you may want to view around from another side of this uh, part. So the way you do this is hold the shift key down, click the mouse scroll wheel, and, and move the mouse around. And then you can orbit around 
any view. If you want to go back to the home view, you can always click the home button. If you want to view the opposite corner or the right upper right corner, you can click on that corner in the view queue. You can also click on one of the edges in the view cube and view that edge. And of course clicking on the home button brings you to the home view. Now all this can also be done from the navigation menu but it's much more quick and efficient if you use the keep your one hand on the keyboard and one hand on the mouse.